podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. You may know the North Carolina state bird or state flower, but you do you know our state dog? The North Carolina Museum of History in Raleigh just opened a new exhibit featuring this lesser known state symbol. Heather Burgess introduces us to the legacy of the plot hound, a highly revered hunting dog, and takes us to the Western North Carolina mountains where it all began. The intelligence and the fierce loyalty of these dogs is what really sets them apart. In the hills of Western North Carolina, you'll hear tales of a legendary hunting dog bred here in the Smoky Mountains, known for its tenacity, loyalty, and intelligence on and off the trail. They were great multi-purpose dogs. The people were using them for hunting, herding, uh, protecting their families. There's numerous historical references to dogs literally saving children's lives when runaway livestock tried to attack them or bears tried to attack them. The plot hound is North Carolina's official state dog. And if you didn't know that little bit of Tar Heel trivia, you're not alone. You, know, you mention a chihuahua or any other purebred dog and they're, oh yeah, I know what that is. But you mention a plot hound and they go, what's that? I was sitting at a stoplight today and another hunter came up and said, what kind of plot hound is that? What, you know, who's she out of? That kind of stuff. So we were sitting at the stoplight having a conversation. But the average person, no idea. And it's amazing how many North Carolinians don't know that, that this is their state dog. No other American hound shares a plot hound's ancestry, which is Germanic rather than English breeding. It is one of only a handful of dogs worldwide named for families who continue to maintain the bloodlines today. Historian, author, and plot hound breeder, Bob Plot is one of those descendants. The Plot family, unlike most families, brought their dogs with them, and not only brought their dogs with them, but they also perpetuated that legacy for almost three centuries now. Through centuries of North Carolina history, the Plot hound's breeding and bloodlines make it the only dog to originate in North Carolina and one of only a few American dog breeds in the country. As you can see here is this brindle coat we talked about earlier. Nanny has the dark base coat with the light stripe, and she's about an ideal specimen for a female plot. This historic hound's name comes from the plot family and the story of two German brothers who set sail from Holland to America with their five hunting dogs in 1750. But one thing that's really unique about the voyage over were two brothers, my third great-grandfather, Johannes George Plot. He had a brother, some say it was twin brother, Enoch, but we don't know for sure, but at any rate, they were 16, 17 years old, thereabouts. And they took these dogs to America in 1750. Well, the one brother, Enoch, died en route. And here's a 16-year-old boy, probably couldn't speak English. Um, we think maybe he maybe came here for relatives or he may have been a contract hunter because he came from a long line of game, gamekeepers in the Black Forest of Germany. So it's likely that the, he went to New Bern, North Carolina, which most German immigrants stayed in Pennsylvania in the Shenandoah Valley. Some of the Plot family settled in the Piedmont, but historians believe around 1799, George's son Henry made his way to this land in Haywood County, which now bears the Plot family name just came right up this creek here and where the confluence of Dix Creek and Richland Creek which is right over here became uh, Plot Creek and the mountains all around here became the Plot Balsams. The old Plot family homestead near Waynesville is where you'll find the legend of the Plot Hound as a big game hunting dog began to flourish. And I get a lot of the Plot family coming back to, to find where their roots are and to see what the history, you know, to, to feel a part of the history. They had water for the dogs there, and all the dogs had shelter over there. And then, of course, you had this magnificent mountain range all around us here uh, where they had just could go out their back door literally and hunt bear, which they did. Through the years, the fame of the Plot family's super hunting dogs spread like fire among mountain men and later big game hunters. The legacy of the Plot and its almost mythical skill for hunting bear and boar is known by huntsmen worldwide they had such a keen nose that they could maybe pick up a, a two or three day old trail and track it, but at the same time they wouldn't just get bored with it, they would stay with it. The whole idea is, yeah, they got to be fierce and tenacious to be aggressive enough 
to go towards the bear, but they have to be smart enough not to be too aggressive to get hurt. Although fierce on the trail, the plot is known for being protective and loyal to its owners, especially children. They're extremely gentle around children, extremely loyal to their masters. Uh, they're, just, they're just wonderful dogs. I knew it for a pretty good I knew it for, don't interrupt me while I'm being interviewed, okay? After working on a traveling exhibit about the plot hound at the Mountain Heritage Center in Cullowhee, David Bruin fell in love with the idea of owning a plot. He says owning Nanny is like walking with a little piece of history. So many great dogs just came right out of this valley here, and you know, Nanny's part of that family. And I think it's a kind of gives me chill bumps sometimes when I start to think about it. Our state dog is now the topic of an exhibit at the North Carolina Museum of History. The unique heritage of these hounds caused many to reflect on the plot's importance in our history and the future trails this breed will take. See, there's the ball mouth there. And sometimes if she's on the trail, you can hear her just going, arp, 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 arp. Right now, she just sees something she wants to communicate with. As a registered purebred since the early 1900s, the plot hound only made its first appearance in the Westminster Dog Show in 2008. For more information on the North Carolina History Museum's plot hound exhibit, log on to our website. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.